Now to the latest in the pandemic. Nearly a week after the Biden administration announced it would send out 400 million free N95 masks to the public, the high quality face coverings are starting to arrive at South Florida pharmacies and grocery stores. CBS 4's Joan Murray shows us. It's not every day you get something for free, but we can tell you they are here in South Florida. Government issued N95 masks have arrived at no cost. To help control the highly contagious Omicron variant, the federal government has sent millions of these high quality face coverings to pharmacies and some stores. Rodney Wiggins wasn't looking for masks, but left Walgreens with three. When I came in the store, they told me that they had free masks right there if I wanted to take some for me and my family. What do you think about that? Um, that's pretty awesome that they're giving out free masks. I think that's pretty cool. Everybody needs a mask with the COVID and everything going around. These masks are known for keeping you from breathing 95% of particles, particles that could lead to you catching COVID. So you have the masks? I went to look for the masks at my local Walgreens. And how many am I allowed to get? All right. Free. The cashier also pointed out they had a bin full of masks anyone could help themselves to. Do you feel these are safer than some of the uh, cloth masks or do you feel like it's going to protect you? Safer anymore? than this? I think so. Cynthia Roca didn't know about the giveaway and was surprised to find them in her bag along with the baby items she bought. Well, what I think is how come they weren't giving it to us before <laughs> and they took this long for free. Especially, you know, so that's awesome. And there's more good news. Those free government issued at home COVID testing kits are arriving in South Florida mailboxes. Don't bother calling your local pharmacy. They will not tell you over the phone whether they have received a shipment. You cannot wash these masks and in general, you should replace them when they are dirty. In Pompano Beach, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.